talk about the module one ab about the applications and types and the different types of um, way you can structure an effective SOP or standard tests method if that's what you use at your facility. So we want to look at the reasons why we have the failed SOPs. We are going to look at some of the different aspects of things and how we should achieve an effective SOP process. So for module three, we're going to still continue with the ways you're going to achieve your SOP and your STM management process. So for this slide, we will talk about also this module will still continue with the process. Thank you.